Hello families. Today we're going to practice how to navigate the kindergarten learning board. So right now we are on Seesaw, which can be found on your child's main um, class link page. So I'm just going to go back up at the top to the tab of Seesaw and I'm going to click view Google Doc. Now, <clears throat> the first page is our cover page and it has a PDF version of the packet. So if you click on the PDF and it pops up this kindergarten packet, you could view the PDF version if you had a printer or if you just wanted to digitally be able to see what it is. Um, then there's also weekly learning goals with I can statements so you understand what your child is learning that week. This is our Bitmoji classroom, Mrs. Hunziker, Ms. Kazak, and Mrs. Wallstrand. You're going to, your child is going to click on their teacher for their daily meeting link. So this is Mrs. Hunziker. I would click on my Bitmoji and pops the words, and then it will be ready to join my Google link. Make sure that on your device, when these pop up, you allow and allow and then your child, hello, your child will choose mute and join the meeting. Then, X out of that. Then, all of these are links to other games and activities, which is exciting. We're going to be continuing to add to this, so you're, you're going to be able to see Mrs. Olson on here and maybe another teacher as well. This is a link to games. It's a fun interactive website. Then, this is our kindergarten schedule suggested. We obviously can't control your lives, but um, this is a suggested schedule for how you can fit in all of your child's learning for the day. Then the next one is our learning board. It is color coded per day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So this is Mondays and you're going to start with phonics and you're going to have your child click on each link. It will bring them to a learning video, either of a teacher talking or of a link of somebody else teaching or an extra game or song. Every picture is a link. Now, some of these pictures will also be a link to another website. Let's go to Epic. Epic, you will need to log in, but we will not make you pay. So you go to the student educators page, and I'm not sure why this shows up that way, but it's just the way it is. Students and educators. Now, you're going to go to the class code. The class codes are all written on the learning board, but sometimes if you click on it, it will already be saved. This is Mrs. Wallstrand's class code. Then you press go. Now, next time you access that same, then you're gonna find your child's name. Next time you access that same one, it should be saved. Let's see if it was saved. Whoopsie. Uh-oh, did it freeze? There we go. Okay. So next time you access a link, it will possibly have it saved. Students and educators. Yes, there it is. Mrs. Wallstrand's class. And you need to click on this code and then it will bring you to Epic. And then once you click on your child's name, it will bring them right to their books to read. Then there's also tumble books and the code is right below. You can click on the link for tumble books and remember to save the password. Same thing for ABC. -a. Do not join unless you really want to. Just press close and you can access this for free. This is some tips and uh, tips for the learning board. Please ask us if you have any questions. Otherwise, happy learning.